This is four hours of After Effects beginner training condensed into four minutes. Why? Because you know what they say, time is magic, right? That's what they say, time is magic? Yeah. This is After Effects and this is where the magic happens. The time? You'll notice the program is made up of different panels or windows. You can add or remove these panels by clicking on them in the window menu. Let's start by creating a composition by clicking Composition, New Composition. These settings are typical, however, these are the key variables you may want to change. Naming your comp is also good etiquette. Next, we can import footage files by clicking File, Import, File. This is also what good folder structure looks like and selecting a file. When you click import, this is imported into your project panel. We can now drag our newly imported video into this bottom panel known as the timeline. Our footage forms its own layer in the timeline. We'll come back to this in two shakes. But first, let's look at creating shape layers, the backbone of motion design. Look at all the shapes we can select by holding click. Let's pick a square and then click and drag in the composition window. Holding shift will allow us to constrain our proportions to a square. Next, let's create a shape layer using paths with our pen tool. First, let's make sure we have our stroke set to more than zero and remove our fill. Then we can click in the composition window to start our path and keep clicking or clicking and dragging for a curve to continue our path. Layers must always be named or risk the wrath of your future self as they desperately try to find a way to time travel back into the past to kick some sense into you. Now let's create text with the text tool. Simply click and start typing. Then remember to change back to your selection tool. You can then move it into position and adjust settings in the character and paragraph panels. Keep in mind, layer order in the timeline matters. Let's use Ctrl or Command plus Z to undo. We're gonna use that a lot. Trust me. Now, all layers in the timeline have these transform properties. All of the properties can be animated using keyframes. We can add in a keyframe by clicking on any stopwatch, the position property on our square for instance. Now, move forward in the timeline and click this button to add another keyframe and change the position to create an animation. Let's repeat that with the rotation property. Hit spacebar to preview. And with that, you're an animator. But we can make this a little bit better. So let's quickly zoom into our timeline. We can make the animation faster or slower by dragging the keyframes closer or further apart. To make this movement more natural, click and drag to select all our keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and then click easy ease. The shortcut is F9 on your keyboard. Look at that. Mwah. Now in the timeline, hit Ctrl or Command A to select all our layers. Hit U to close our content. You can then use U to open up or close our keyframes. Now, if we click in our effects and presets panel, we'll find a huge list of effects. These can be applied by selecting a layer and double clicking on an effect. This can then be adjusted in the effect controls panel. Next, select all three layers while holding Ctrl, then right click and click Pre-Compose. This allows us to put all these layers into their own composition. This creates a new composition in our project panel, which can now be reused in other compositions. It also has animatable transform properties. Remember to save your project and keep saving as you go with Ctrl or Command S. Next, we can trim our preview area by moving ahead in the timeline and hitting N on our keyboard. Finally, we can render out our composition by clicking Composition and add to Adobe Media Encoder Cube. While you can render natively inside of After Effects, this process allows us to use an H.264 codec to get a smaller file size. Click here to choose your render location and name your file. Now hit the green play button to render. So that's our brief overview of the basics of After Effects. If you think you're now a master of After Effects, fantastic. I love that for you. However, if you have any common sense, subscribe to join the guild and let's keep learning together.